Hold on. Okay, turn my own sound down. There we go. Hey everyone, I was trying to set the sound. Unfortunately, uh, the main menu sound is not connected to the settings, but there we go. How's everyone doing today? Happy to join me all on this uh, Sunday afternoon, evening, wherever you're from, morning in some places. Welcome to Colonize. The king requires your service. Uh, here we play, uh, from what I've seen from the trailer, pilgrims who head to the Americas. So there's going to be issues with Native Americans and they don't shy away, even in the trailer already, they don't shy away from what happened all back then. So we're not going to be focusing on bad stuff, but it is going to be in there. Be warned. Also, uh, early access. It's always the same. It's awesome. We get early access. We. Uh, that skulls. Thank you very much for following on Twitch. Thank you. Thank you. So, as always, uh, there can be some bugs. We're basically testing this game because you never know. My settings are, or my computer is different from someone else's computer. You can always have some different issues. I had some issues with the. Um, resolution earlier i was able to fix that through steam already told the dev they're going to be fixing that no problem uh, he immediately answered on the discord there it is join discord so um oh excuse me when is this prologue coming out i forgot to check how silly of me Your page 25th all right so let us start a new game let me see if i need to change the sound let me see. So we get uh, the prologue is just Plymouth, Plymouth, Plymouth. Yeah, uh, Bermuda, Boston. So these are all no descriptions either. Boston, Williamsburg, Philadelphia, Charleston are all going to be options in the full game. Plymouth holds a place of great prominence in American history, folklore, and culture. Seeking freedom from religious persecution in England, a group of Puritans set forth on a voyage to the New World in 1620. Originally bound for the colony of Virginia, they veered off course and anchored in the harbor off of the coast of present-day Massachusetts. After exploring and surveying the land, the Puritans discovered a sheltered harbor perfect for the location of their settlement. After a treacherous journey, yeah, that wasn't a great time uh, back then, <laughs> wasn't exactly a cruise, the settlers had reached the New World, disembarking from the Mayflower and founding their founding their new settlement of Plymouth. As the governor of these new settled lands, it is your responsibility to lead, guide, and protect them. Can you make it through the upcoming harsh winter and beyond, ensuring the survival and prosperity of your people? We labored to rid the Church of England of the vestiges of papal influence. Despised as Puritans, we suffered persecution and were forced into exile. In the year of our Lord, 1620, we left Europe on a religious mission to establish a godly government. In Plymouth, we boarded Mayflower, an ark that would carry us to the promised land. Soon, we were besieged on all sides by the treacherous ocean. Scurvy and fear of imminent death accompanied us for the remainder of our journey. We barely reached the new world alive after months on the high seas. The fear of retribution plagued our minds. Our countrymen had already warred with local tribes over this land. Many of us, too, believed we were not destined to share it. Famine and sickness struck our colony. We resorted to stealing food from the natives the whole settlement feared the violent wrath of their war parties. Instead, one of them befriended us. Squanto spoke our language. Despite previously having suffered in slavery at the hands of our kind, he arranged for us to trade with the people of the First Light, thus saving our very lives. They introduced us to the beauty and bounty of our unforgiving surroundings. But most settlers still refuse to see them as equals. Others would only deal with them if they commit to his word. 
shall peace be sustained by sturdy plowshares or instruments of warfare. Here we go. First colonies were about survival. Oh, let me just say hi to everyone. Hey, Bill, Edgar, Apex, Quintius, and Rye are here. Hello, hello. Thank you all already for the 10 likes. You guys are awesome. So, this was also basically the trailer, what you just saw. And my impression is very much that... Let me turn down the sound a little bit there. Uh, it's going to be quite realistic. So... Be warned. <laughs> you know, it wasn't pretty back then, but most of you will know that. I don't know a lot about this history because it's mostly American history and I grew up very much on European history. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, Bill. Hello, hello. Let us go see the first colonies. So, I'm assuming this is, uh, this is us, I think. The first colonies were about survival in the wild and inhospitable environment of New England. Deaths were frequently caused by hunger and many diseases. In our came colonize, we tried to bring the difficult lives of the first colonists closer to the modern day. Gradually we will add more and more content, threats and adjust the current state of gameplay to ensure the greatest experience for you, our players. However, we will remain faithful to the history and the way of life of the first colonies of the 17th century. So they are aiming for realism, while still creating a pleasant gameplay, I assume. Um, like I said, this is uh, early access to a prologue that is also for an early access game. You know what that means. We're just going to take a first look. I do like these kinds of games. So what will your role be? You are the governor of the first permanent successful colony, Plymouth. But successful and survival, so sorry, but success and survival were not certain for the first years following its establishment. Sacrifice, hard work, and most importantly, maintaining good relations with the natives were key to survival. The local tribes of the Wampanoag. Am I saying that right? Wampanoag? I, it's probably close enough. We'll, we'll We'll go, we'll roll with it. Wampanoag, Massachusetts, and the uh, Narragansett? Narragansett people who lived there before the arrival of Europeans were the main reason for the survival of the colony. Therefore, do not forget to maintain good relations with the native tribes. That sounds like good advice, considering, you know, we're going to be pretty dependent on them for food and teachings and such. Your job as governor is to take care of your people so that they always have enough food, warm clothes, and most importantly, income to repay our debt to the home company that paid for the trip of the Mayflower. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. So basically someone sponsored them to make the journey. Basically, they were paid a hundred bucks to piss off. Can we just, can we just accept that? Okay, sorry. Yeah, it was not a good time for them. Uh, Tisquantum or Squanto, an English-speaking Native American and a member of the Patucket tribe, was our chief advisor in these first months. Without his help, we could never have survived, so watch out and follow his advice. That was the plan. Let's start building colony. First of all, the people have already built a storage where we can store all the building materials and goods that can be kept in the cellar, which they've also built for the storage of food. Okay, so we have a storage for goods and uh, the cellar for food. Got it. I think they could actually call it a warehouse. The public house is a place for homeless people. Build more houses so citizens can move in and start families. Okay, so yeah, it's basically uh, an in-between house. Our people also build an inn which will provide them with food when they are not working. Uh, Sure. How's the lighting for you guys? This this game is quite dark, generally. Alright, hold on. Oh, I need to... There we go. Arrows too. 
But what's what? Because it doesn't really tell me what's what. Can we... See, this looks like the storage. That means this is probably the cellar. Considering what I'm hearing. Up a little bit for you guys. This is probably the inn. What was the last part? Oh, the, the bunkhouse. Basically, the yeah, okay. I'm um, sorry, it's wanting me to do this. There we go. Why did he go with Puritans? Uh, that's what... Well, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not really informed on the hi the true history. I just thought it was a very interesting game. Isn't that what they were called? I mean, just tell me if that's not true. Alright, that's the camera. Okay, basic tutorial. Yes, thank you. Basic controls. Okay, here we go. Now we're building. What are we building? The woodcutter. Alright. So, assuming this is the storage... Oh, sorry, they want me to turn it first. Okay. Uh, control, smaller steps. I like the path forming. Look at that. I like it. Oh, look at the top. It's a uh, sufficient distance, good distance, great distance, good distance. Okay, okay. So what I can do is... Uh, well, it's a woodcutter, so let's park it near some trees, I guess. Can we put it... I don't know if we can put a rope here. It looks small, but... There we go. Let's build a farm field. Choose the farm from the building menu. Where do you build the building from the warehouse? The longer workers we need to carry materials. Therefore... Awesome. Okay. Um, I'm assuming we want to farm close to the cellar more than the warehouse. Give it a little bit more space. There we go. Change the working hours of the warehouse. Hello, Harry. Um, let me see what Rice says. Well, the settlers there, but those who couldn't accept the changes of the Church of England made. Yeah, but they explained that in the intro, that they leave because of their religious beliefs. I mean, I yeah, I'm getting the Puritans not exactly the most... Um, it's a bit of an insulting name for them, I guess. But it is now. Was it then? I, that's, what, that's what I don't know. Captain Jack Sparrow, Sea of Thieves, a Pirate's Life, Black Pearl. Um, channel, videos, search. There you go. No, I've streamed that. <laughs> I've streamed the whole series on it, actually. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, that's just the same pixel. We click that. We want them to work from 5 to 9? Why? <laughs> okay. Um. I had to turn the other way. We're only having them work four hours a day? Oh, from five to six now. Okay. You now change the workouts to where I was building, get just the workout of each building that produces research. 
or provide services. Now wait for them to finish. Okay, I can't. I can't click into the building again. Elegas, thank you very much for following on Twitch. Hold on, they want me to change the speed. There we go. There, there are peoples. Look at them go. Okay, I, I need to wait for them to finish. So, uh, but work harder. <laughs> like the seller. Uh, right click on uh... so We only want two workers there, okay. I only see two people, but I'm sure that'll sort itself eventually. The game is past that drop. You can see all your citizens select a random citizen by clicking the OK. I select it. And here we can see how they're doing. His, uh... We can see his path. That's handy. Filter. Okay. You have turned off the automatic job search according to building requirements. Pick up. Okay, and then we uh, assign the citizen on the farm. Choose a crop. Um, okay. Oh, I need to plant. Can I plant multiple? It says wheat field, but I've just planted corn. Oh well. You will see notifications on the left side of your screen above the minimap. Oh yeah. Oh that that's way too small. That just <laughs> I can read it barely. What's that? Explanation for ants? No. Did they starve to death yet? Not yet, because the tutorial keeps us on pause. They're giants, I know, right? They're great. Not the text, though. Alright, they want us to build a well. Makes sense. I'm assuming we want the well pretty close to the farms, right? So, I wish I could build the road first before we... I guess you could do the tutorial and then just start a new game and then do your own stuff. Uh, sure, we, we want a well right there. Can I build more crops now? No. <laughs> They're not letting me do anything. I thought the English Puritans um, ran away to the Netherlands in part. I guess it spread. <laughs> I can't zoom in any closer, but here they come. I uh, can't click on any building. Alright, now they can water their crops. Sounds like a good plan. Let's wait for the crops to grow. Let's not. Let me build. <laughs> no, it's fine. We'll just put it on uber speed. Oh, that was fast. Um, do I need to do everything manually in this game? Because if I tell someone to farm, I'd want them to go farm. We'll see how it goes once the tutorial is done. Um, I like the pictures, but it's not very clear what's what. There's no pop-up. Maybe that's still coming. I guess you can just easily check everything out. Oh, that's a church. That's probably the public house. Alright, we have... Okay, so you can't zoom in as soon as you select it. I can't be selected. Either. Okay. Um, can't zoom out, sorry. 
They all need to be close to the warehouse. That is just so annoying. <laughs> Why would the house need to be close to the warehouse? There's no need for that. I guess that's a good distance. Mm. Okay, so this is this is this is a great distance from this building here. This is already good. That's like very close by. Okay, and, and once I go too far, the game just pushes me back. <laughs> That's dedicated to breastfeeding. Uh, they have to have a house to, you know, procreate and make more little pil pilgrims. Uh, so I guess we'll just put it here somewhere. Uh, what, oh, sorry, it was too close to the public house. A little bit more space. There we go. All right, let, uh, run, people, run. I like the music, I like the sounds. I might have... I don't think I can... No, I can't change my settings right now. I'll fix that uh, once the tutorial is over. <laughs> he only breeding hot. You're not wrong. Every... I don't even care that you said that because every building, city building game that works like this, since Banished has it. Uh, yeah, right, but uh, the Netherlands is also very much a Protestant land, so they uh, they ran away. Did, uh, oh, look, they have, we have a couple. Happiness plus five. Um, let's tr Okay, let's trade. Mood switch. Sell 25 or more letters. Can I see how many I have? Do I have 30? I think I have 30. No, I want, I want 20. Moderation! <laughs> Let me... Oh god. Um, okay, fine. So now we can buy a pig farm. Oh, we do like some piggies. Oh, look at that. Um... You know, I, ex I would expect food buildings to be uh, depend on the distance to the cellar and production buildings to depend on the distance to the warehouse. Hey, okay, this is the shelter. Now I'm getting a pop-up. In... Earlier they called it a public house. Ah, uh, Cinder. Oh, we got a bear. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a bear. So, uh... Is there like a native village nearby or got a little island over here? Wait. There's our ship. I guess they'll pop up a bit. So can we nope, can't do anything with that. Okay. Buy four piglets. The question, um, if we didn't bring them aboard the ship, who did we just buy them from? Because I don't think they had, did they have pig, no, they didn't have piglets as the Native Americans did. No, I don't think they actually had like modern piglets. We need a farmer to take care of the piglets. Let me not think too logical in this case. <laughs> okay, rice rooting for the bear. Fair enough, fair enough. Select the warehouse, okay? 
guessing we're, we're firing someone. There, she can be our pig farmer. Oh, oh, there are the piglets. Oh, we can build roads. not undo this. There we go. Oh, actually, I think it's just going through that building, isn't it? It is. Okay, so... I really wanted to build in some more roads, but okay. Feed the people. Got it. Before to eleven. That's way too late. Okay. Um, they only come and eat if the innkeeper is on his way. Shouldn't I make it from like noon to dinner then? I'm wondering. I'm just curious. Hey, auntie. Yes, they're on their way. I'll tell them to hurry up. <laughs> the tutorial is good to learn the game, but eventually you just want to play. I get the idea now. I, I mean, I could start a new game and just disable the tutorial, but let me see how this goes. Oh, I, I'm going to speed up because they don't open until 4. It's 2. Someone's asking for more food. Yeah, well, you have to wait till 4 or starve, apparently. Henry is very hungry. <laughs> oh, look, we can see the guests. Let me guess, is it Henry? This is where your citizens find a partner. Well, they certainly didn't need it. <laughs> Let's wait until they eat. Well, if, citizens, if a citizen has little energy, they will go home. Long sleep is best for recharging energy. As you can see, their energy is already rising. Yes, I can see that. I love it. His intelligence is 48 of 48. It's just never gonna get any higher. Henry just... yeah. He's not been blessed by his lord. <laughs> I guess. And thanks everyone for the 20 likes. We're just trying out the tutorial for this upcoming prologue. Can we remove this tree? That would be awesome. Very much in the way. Okay, I think we're free. Let me see. What do we have? Wheat? Barley? Tobacco? And potatoes? Okay, so let's plant some potatoes. That's always a good idea. And some wheat. Why wasn't I yet? I misclicked. And some coffee? Uh, there we go. I have no idea whether it would be better to... Uh, but we only have one worker at the farm. I'm thinking we need another one. Let me see, where is everyone? So we have two people in the cellar. Two woodcutters. The well's just a well. We have one pig farm. This is a shelter. This is the house. So I'm thinking we need one person off the... Can I just... Alright, oh, yeah, there you go. So now we have two workers on the field. Let's see if they can make some more food. Okay, let's 
to have. I'm okay, so you also have bread, meat, fish, eggs, and water. Okay, I'll have to figure out what needs what. All right, so we have a lot of wood, but not a lot of planks. They have such weird work times. Is it just me or like? Can I make you work from... I also have no idea... How long is too long? How long do you guys work? 9 hours? 13 hours? Bit, bit long. Oh yeah, look, their happiness was lower too. But their happiness is 20. I don't see it go down. I'm just testing it out. They only work three hours. They work 15. We'll have to get some more people for there. Probably some more housing too to get more babies. It's not gonna go really straight there. Huh? Right, and the. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll go we'll, we'll go with that. But I can't. But oh, that doesn't work. We can't go through there. Seems silly, but okay. You know what? So sorted. Okay, that's that's. Uh, these two buildings were already here, so it's nothing much I can change about that. But they can't go through here, I guess. Does it matter how I build it? Bush. Street lamps. Then should they all cost money? So we don't have a lot yet. Okay, what's this? It's a shelter? A church? Uh, first we need a way to make planks. Come on, let me... Pause for a moment. Okay, we have an inn. There's a warehouse. We have that too. But if we want to make more locations where people are working, we're going to need that. The cellar. Interesting. Max meat 20. So everything we have is already at its max, basically. That doesn't fit a whole lot. An expedition building? Oh, that's interesting. We need more people for that, though. Okay. So, the woodcutter we have. We need a sawmill. To make planks. A quarry for stone. Hunter for beef, of course. Fishery. There's the well we already have. Fields. There's the mill for flour. And then there's the bakery. And of course, chickens. That's a population overview. And what's this? Duxbury. Oh, that's an expedition. That's awesome. All right, so we can we can sell some stuff, I guess, because we have a lot. 
Uh, I don't know how much. Is this all we can sell? I can't sell like potatoes? some of it. I don't know who we're selling to, to be honest. The full version of the game, your council will be vital to improving laws and giving your colonies certain work or defense bonuses. Well-known names of the time, such as Quanto, William Bradford, and Miles Standish, but just some of the many you will be able to choose for your court. We're looking forward to the full release complete your game and then you get militia as well oh so you can uh, w wait french and dutch raids we're gonna fight the dutch <laughs> okay so you need to build a wall basically how's the lighting guys this game is very dark witch trials now the witch trials came later I haven't planted everything yet, have they? Okay. No, I can't click that tree. There we go. I'm not quite getting the the the, the happiness that's here. I don't know if it's dependent on the hours or... How many piglets can we fit in here? Oh, they need potatoes and barley for pig food. We need a uh, skip the night button. Because there's nothing to do. It is dark, isn't it? But yeah, it's night. So let's give it a moment for daytime. Because it's dark for me too. That is much better. I can... Uh, hold on. Let me improve your lives. Oh wow, it was already at 8 brightness. Okay. Uh, I... This is, that's good enough. Um, I think we need a uh, Freya moving. Uh, Freya's got an expedition. Whee! Mm. The pilgrim too. Okay. Oh no, 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 she's blocking. That's okay. There you go. Don't, don't, don't block the donation goal. <laughs> we need help. <laughs> oh look, they're planting again. Probably should have planted a little bit more barley since it's pig food. But we can also make... I'm a little bit worried that we have too few people to man all these houses. Why are you green? And the rest is red. Why are they red? Your health's fine. Happiness? No, it's all 99? I don't know. They, the people. Isaac Rogers has been born. His intelligence is currently 8 of 69. But well, he's only 2, he's forgiven. <laughs> right, she fits there perfectly. Um, I think we're gonna need some more housing to get, get the people to go up. 
Now the biggest problem here is, is that the housing actually needs to be close to the the warehouse as well. So now it doesn't tell me whether the, the distance is good or not. I guess we can tell by the circle. I guess for housing is not the big, biggest issue. There you go. How much is it anyway? Oh, we're gonna... Yeah, we need planks. Okay, so no choice. We need to do that first. That's a big building. Um... I guess we'll just build the woodcutter behind here. A little bit more space. There you go. Please tell me we can fit roads in between here. Yes, we can. Hold on. I'm trying to turn my camera. There we go. Are you kidding me? Yep. Okay. Oh, sure. Why not? There we go. I'm just... This was pre-built and they didn't leave room for a road and I put the, the pigsty too close to it. There you go. I think they still just walk through here, so it's okay. What does the road do? So like, uh, adds more speed and comfort. Okay, fair enough. But there's a door right here. How not you just go through here? I guess not. Oh, now the question, of course, is what, what does the, the sawmill need? So here's the thing, the sawmill means planks, and we're out, and we're gonna solve this, let me see, can we buy this one, no, this one, okay, so how, how much do you need, it says we have zero, but I, I was sure we had some earlier, so we need 15 planks, oh wait, they're, they're, they're bringing maybe? No, that's wood. Alright, so we need 15 planks to even build the sawmill. How much is that? 105, not too bad. Let's sell some wood. I'm curious why I can't sell corn. Or, um... Fish. I guess they don't want it. Am I looking wrong? No, here. Okay, so I just bought 15 planks. Did, it, did they need to be brought in? Where are they? The money's gone. Oh, the oopsie. They brought it over here, I think. Ah, uh, it's not a problem. We can always buy a bit more. All right, do we have uh, harvest? I think she's having an argument with the potatoes. I think she lost. Okay, so I should have built the the sawmill before the house, clearly. Ah, you live, you learn. 
fish trade. Let me see. I think. Oh, sorry, wrong one. <coughs> this one. Um. Well, we can't sell any fish that I can see. Wait, there's firewood? Hey, why? I'm missing planks, though. I don't see any firewood. I can buy it, but I don't see... So I bought 15 planks, and there's zero here and six here. Where'd he go? Oh, oh! now we're getting some. Where are you getting this from? Is it coming from the ship? Are they, are they walking somewhere? I don't see anyone with planks. Oh look, they're harvesting. Maybe we should make like a gigantic tobacco field and sell all that. I think that's actually worth quite a bit. You see, wheat is one, tobacco is two, wood also two. Oh, and leather is three. Okay. Oh, so a hunter would also be a good option. Get meat and leather. Oh, that's stones. Hmm. I'm just waiting. Let me speed up time a little bit. See what happens. Oh, oh, there are some planks incoming. I don't know where they're coming from, but they're incoming. Might have to buy a few more. Well, there's 12. Oh, never mind. It's done. I'm, I'm really confused where it came from. But here they are. Why are these work times so weird? I mean, why would they work to 11 in the evening? Surely they would start at like 7 and then just work the day. Is it just me? Is it... It just seems odd. Everyone's gonna be working for 10 hours. Can you do that? There we go. Except the farm, because they need they apparently need more work. Okay, um, we need someone working there. We don't have a whole lot of work, do we? We need more settlers. How, how weird. She has experience as an innkeeper. I guess they switch drops along the way. <laughs> in Salem they got burned. Yeah, that's a bit later. <laughs> uh, there was an update. Um, birds and decorations, unfortunately, for Medieval Dynasty. Unfortunately, I ran into the trouble that Every time I walked, the whole screen shaped, and they couldn't give me an answer, so I'm not entirely sure how to fix it. Okay. Of course, now it's night, so let's speed up time a little bit. Wow, it's hot. 
it's uh, it's almost midnight it's like 26 degrees uh, it's june to be fair so some fishing would be good too i have too few people to do anything really have uh, at least i have a woodcutter to get uh, get some house building going but i also need a stone cutter no i'm i meant the oh we get another baby oh wow they've been busy they are really really busy <laughs> they already have four kids in like two months i'm very impressed We should build 5G towers in Peter Rush. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. We really should. And they can protest that the, the, the 5G towers are harming their health. Since, you know, that's, that's what they did. They protested everything. That's why they left. <laughs> yeah, this is Plymouth. They made it a crime to form a solemn compact with the devil by the way of witchcraft. Okay, that's fair. Oh yeah, I know it, it happened really late too, but uh, not yet. Like, this is... These are some of the first colonists that landed, so... Why did this not get... Uh, some of them didn't get planted. They are ready for harvest. The... Mm. How do I know the pigs are ready? Also, where are the pigs? And there's no, no room for more meat. It says slaughter zero, but I don't see any pigs. Hmm. No, no, it says one of six. So what happened to my pigs? Did, did the bear come and eat them? I have a friend. I, it's a bit too manual for my taste, to be honest. Well, there's a wild boar. Ladies, you want to have a good time? <laughs> Leave my ladies alone. Alright, planks are being made. And let's build some more housing so we can have some more babies. zoom in so much when I'm trying to build. Hold on. Zoom out? Oh. Okay, weird. thing might be better over there. Hmm, it needs to be really far away. That does remind me, however, that we need a quarry. Uh, sorry. Here. They'll get stones from the mountains. It needs to be in a certain location. Very exciting music there. Um, 
we have anything that looks like a mountain? Well, this does. That's a long way away. Music sounds like we're under attack or something. It will get stone from the mountains, but can only be built in certain places. Now that makes perfect sense to me, I just don't know where. Because according to the game, I can build it anywhere. Except on the mountains. Great. Um, I mean, I can build it here, but it probably doesn't have much use. I'm guessing it's just not implemented yet, but then I don't know what the consequences would be for me to build it there. More like a hill. Maybe I should just build it here and see what happens. Worst things that can happen is if we waste some wood. I'm just gonna try it. I don't know. It's not implemented. Hey, Michael! Under attack by a wild Mike? Oh no! Oh, Townsend's. Yeah, I do like Townsend's. Um, there's also like an, an English sister, I guess you could call it. Um, I don't know. It's Mrs. Crocombe, but I don't know the name of the channel. Because basically Mrs. Crocombe is the funnest part of the whole channel. It's a reenactment of um, the cook. Of like an old English country house with the lord and lady and workers and maids and, and all the good stuff. And yeah, it got a little bit out of hand. <laughs> I like that. Um, why not? Is it just me or the road rules a bit strict in this game? Also, you can't cancel. So you get this nonsense. Uh, why not? It's because I built the house too close. And I can only... There's not a destroy button, is there? No. But I can't. Only four wood. If I could cancel this, I could move it a little. But here the road just went under the ladder. See that? Here it works fine. Now in this one it doesn't work. Maybe once it's built? Let's do this. There we go. But I can't connect these two roads for some reason. Eh, road building is a bit odd. And the nights are long. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, delete. Oops. No. No, if I hold down delete, it doesn't work either. No, C, no, uh, getting foggy. So we have a lot of food, but we can only sell a couple of specific things. Oh. Rain has come and gone. We can sell some tobacco. I don't know if they actually use it up. Mm. So, I'm curious about the pigsty because I didn't get any more leather. I would have expected to get leather from the pigs. I guess not. No so tip of the day build your roads before you build your buildings. Very important. Oh yeah, the rain waters them. So harvest, I guess. Looks like they're done. Or not? Hard to tell. see because the last time they hold up hold up how many we have a lot of potatoes why don't we replace some potatoes oh wait I can remove something there you go there I'll plant some more tobacco since that one we can sell Some money, so let's buy two more pigs. They're staying inside, okay. Oh, he's 11 and working. Look at that. Already carrying all the wood, and he's only 11. <laughs> English heritage, that's the one. Oh, I love the butter episodes. I think, like, uh, wasn't it Maid Marianne or something who just who hits the butter? I guess that was her job. The, no, the, yeah, the. A special butter mate, basically. Yeah, it's child labor, I'll say. Alright, so I'm testing out if the quarry here works. Hey, <laughs> right. Just need some planks. Uh, well, we have them. I don't see firewood, even though we can buy it. Oh, that's why. Because I also... Hold on, let me set this as a priority then. I'm also building houses. How's everyone doing? Let me see, where's the list of peeps? Okay, so we have some people with partners, but who probably don't have houses at this point. Oh yeah, because only these uh, have children. They have five and they have four. They breed like bunnies. Don't build too many houses. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, the puddings, yes. 
yeah, you have to keep in mind this game is uh, it's a you know early access to a prologue to an early access game. That means that there's more coming. Because right now they warn us to make friends with the natives, Native Americans, uh, but I haven't seen them yet. Oh, I wonder if I should have built a quarry up here. There's stone right there. Okay, let me see. Um, one of you kids can I get some early uh, experience in the quarry. There you go. So let's see what happens. Okay, he's uh, he's having breakfast with mommy. Lunch, sorry, lunch. Only eight hours now. That. Yeah. Oh, oh. I think. Hold on. Wait. Mm. Wait. You're twelve. Why do you have so much experience as a woodcutter? Hold on, hold on. Do kids get born with experience of their parents? Oh. Why do you have experience? Hold on, what do you do? I think she's... No, she's a farmer, but she has experience as an innkeeper. He's a wood... The sons inherit from the father and the daughters from... The mother? <clears throat> Hold on. So the father is a woodcutter also. Wait, why do you have the exact same skills as her? That's weird. <laughs> yeah. So the daughters only get the first skill of the mother, which is annoying because now I have all these little innkeepers when I only need one. <laughs> but uh, they all are very good at woodcutting. But their parents are better, so I guess we just give them another job. It's fine. So... Can we... So from what I've seen... They automatically go work at the warehouse. And then we can put them elsewhere. Uh, do we need more people in the cellar? I don't think so. But that means we can slowly... Oh no, look! He went to work over there automatically. Can I change the settings somehow? Because escape doesn't work. That's interesting. How do I save? <laughs> Actually, I, oh, maybe I can't. Sometimes you can't in the prologue. No, it's no escape. Okay, <laughs> we will never escape. Save her. The natives will appreciate the five G stream. <laughs> I'm sure they will. Yeah, that's what I said, right? Roads first, then building. Clearly. Uh, sorry, here. So I'm actually waiting right now to get a couple more people in here. I think we might also need another warehouse to. Uh, let me just draw a little bit of road here and attach this house to the network. It's really hard to see in this. Uh, 
brain. You not attached. There you go. What do else do we have? Do we have a fence? People can't cross the fence, okay? A bench. Oh, it's for resting so they can regain some energy. All right, uh, I'll, I'll place one right there. And we'll see if they actually use it. A street lamp. Cost a little bit of money, did, but... Uh, next to the bench. Here you go. There, our main crossings can have a street lamp. And we have some bushes for decorations. Uh, a church, that would probably be a good idea. I wonder, are you guys actually getting stones in? Oh, yes, they are. Oh, our warehouse is pretty full. Maybe we should build another one so people will be happy living close to a warehouse. Like somewhere over here. Let me see. First, some more houses. So, if I build like. Okay, look, you can see the road, not very well, but you can see the road go past that road, so... There you go. And then, um, build... Uh, wood cutter. I want to get to, like, a bakery and such. Where is the warehouse? There you are. Mm, yeah, there would probably give enough room for a house on each side. There you go. Or other buildings. We'll fit something in there. But they all want to be close to the warehouse, so... Uh, another cellar would probably... I want to also know if that would give me uh, more room for more food. Alright. How's it going over here? Oh, it's closed for winter. Oh, I didn't... Oh, wait. We have... Why do we have zero meat? It, it It's almost as if my piglets are, like, disappearing. So I probably missed a harvest then. I don't like that they don't just harvest. They know better than I do when to harvest. Seems a bit just over the top. There we go. Is, did I even get. Maybe we should. Or maybe we should start fishing for extra food since it's closed for winter. That's a good idea. This, oh, that's expedition building. Mm. Fishery or a hunter would also give us leather. Mm. Doesn't attach to the road. Oh wait, there it is. There's the road. Um, how big are you? Oh, you're too big for there anyway. Okay. Um, Nice rocks on the road, gotta love it. Okay, you still fit here. Oh, 
whoa, whoa. Yeah, but it's blocking the road, isn't it? Um, let me think. Does the hunter... I wish I could zoom out. So what happens, I zoom out and then the building and then it zooms in again. Where would we need a hunter? Like... Oh, does it say? Does it give me a tip? Travels around your settlement in search of game. So it doesn't really matter where we put it then. I see. We'll put you right there across from the cellar and the warehouse. That is not Logical to me. Would be cool to have them holidays. Well, Thanksgiving wasn't invented yet. <laughs> but Chris, no, uh... Well, Halloween, no, because that would be considered pagan. Because Halloween is All Hallows Eve. That would be would have been a pagan holiday. But Christmas, yeah, Christmas. <laughs> yeah, the snapping is not too easy. It's okay. Now I know for the full game how to build roads. So in the future, in the full game, they say there will be... Um, possible attacks from natives and keep watch for French and Dutch raids. So you'll eventually need to build a palisade across uh, uh, along your village and traps to protect yourself. But not yet. I don't see anyone else on the map either. This little red spot is our ship. Oh, that's how we trade. We trade with the mainland, I see. I expected at least something with the natives, even in the prologue. Because they talked about it so much. Alright, so our farm is closed for winter. I'm building a hunter, so we can at least have food come in. I sold all the tobacco for bunnies. So in spring would be great if we could start making bread. I think we'll need another farm. We also need more housing. There we go, that one's done. We still have people in here, yes we do. Oh, well, we have two ladies. So I'm guessing... Oh, this one's not done yet. Hold on, it needs two more stones. Oh, we have uh, we have people available. They, they're filling up all the spaces. Of course, the farmers. <laughs> the farmers went to work elsewhere. Two of six. Oh, so it's not the number. It's their progress. Now, how do I know? Because it says here slaughter, right? But every time I look, the piglets are just gone. They just disappeared. And I don't think we're getting any meat from it. So maybe I'll just stop buying. We can try the chickens. See if we can get some eggs. So it's winter, it's building time. Let's go. I think we have lots of people to build. The Irish started Halloween. Eh, uh, makes sense. Why does building a warehouse require 200 firewood? I don't think we can build this. Or is it done? Oh, it's done. But we don't have any winter clothes, do we? Oh. Oh, they be tripping. 
Mm. There, that's better. <laughs> I think they're cold. Um, I don't see... I can see that there's no winter clothes in there. But... I don't... Wait, what are you? Eggs, okay. I don't see any clothes, I just see leather. Are you done? Okay, it's done. Okay, there we go. Chickens! I'm guessing they eat grain? Corn. Okay, we got that. Alright, let's see if we can get some eggs out of there. Need some people working in the cellar, and then we need some hunters. Let's see, this is still a kid, so he can go hunt and learn how to hunt. Uh, should they do that at night? Is that a thing? Two hunters going so we can have some meat. We don't run out of food. Forty-eight. I'm wondering if like is there an age that they stop having kids? We'll see. trappings from beavers. Yeah, that could work. A colony in the swamps. Uh, there are different locations where you can start a colony, so I'm not entirely sure where on the map that all would be. But it would be awesome to try. Yeah, they're gonna be adding the Dutch, the French, and the Native Americans to the game, from what I've seen. I don't think they're implemented yet. Which is a shame, because the intro was awesome. I expected at least some contact with maybe one Native tribe to give you an idea how to work with people. These just disappeared. Um... We don't, well, we have some workers available, so let us see about getting a fishery. Can we build anywhere the f they will go to the nearest water source to catch dinner? Okay. Yeah, that overlaps with the pigsty, doesn't it? Mm. This would be pretty close to the water, but a little bit far from... No, it's okay. The cellar's down there, actually. Hold on, hold on. Give me a road. Because I think if I build a road up here... No, this, this is straight according to you? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm worried it's gonna. I wonder if I can attach the. Can't cancel. Okay. Oh, okay. If you click on there, that cancels. There, because that's a trading area, so we want that connected. And then we'll add a fishery here, so they're both close to the water. And the cellar over here. Okay, fish coming in. Let's speed up to the night. Tilly is born. Welcome, Tilly. To hell. <laughs> no, we're, we're fine. We have food. It would be nice to make some more bread, but they don't seem to be eating a lot of bread, actually. They don't seem to be eating a whole lot of anything. Okay, but I'm still not sure why some are red and why some people are green. I don't see a whole lot of... Is, is it because... No, they all have free time. They're not unhappy. Don't know. It's okay. Oh, they banned Christmas. Really? I didn't expect that. have it on super speed so people are just glitching along the road a little bit it's fine so how are we doing on oh we need a lot they're yeah they're just breathing like bunnies aren't they they really are Sorry. oh boy um well we need more people so uh, let's go Oh, come on. We should be able to fit the house there. Really? Oh, 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 there. Okay, it fits. Perfect. Road. We're low on wood. Is there not enough wood in the in the area? Yeah, just learning how the the game works basically. I'm thinking we're gonna need oh yeah, a church would be good. Uh, well ne next to the inn. Probably a good idea. How much does this take? A lot of wood. Might need to build a woodcutter elsewhere, but I don't know how to break stuff down. Another thing that's not quite clear to me, like, the, the church has a huge area. Do you see it? The, the orange? Is that that it wants to be near a warehouse? Is it where the, it covers these amount of houses? A cemetery? I haven't seen a cemetery yet. So we can also build an expedition building. 
But let's wait for a moment till we can actually build the the church because we're very low on wood. And I'm just wondering if there's simply not enough trees for them left to cut. It's very hard to see. There are still some trees here. You guys are working, right? Are you, are you old? Are we 60? That's probably pretty old for that time. <laughs> How's your health, dude? 77. Yeah, that's not uh, that's not great. Mm, same story with him. If this continues to go on, we're gonna need another shelter, not more homes, because... Wow, they have a lot of children fast. Except for you, can I... Can I put you back in the... Oh, I can. I think I actually can. Can I just let you go now? There you go, okay. Click filter again, no problem. I could kick them out into another shelter and see if a, you know, a fertile couple can move in, to put it rudely. I'm not entirely sure because so far the area of effect is the fact that they want to live close to a warehouse. That horn, every time it sounds, I think we're under attack, but it's not even implemented in the game yet. Okay, so we have a hunter. He's bringing in meat and leather. Okay, we got that. Uh, we got the fishery. We got a well. We could do with another farm. And then we can make a mill, a bakery. Okay, we have pig farm and chicken farm. There's not a way yet to make clothing, but that is going to be an important thing to do before winter in the full game, because you can actually see them right here, winter clothes. Church, yeah, not really. Um, I can build another woodcutter, that might just be a good idea. Uh, where do you get in here? Oh, that's... Because there's also a lot going towards the sawmill. Mm. So here's another warehouse. Uh, but there's no trees. Uh, yeah, there's some over here. I'm worried it's gonna... Okay, hold on. We're gonna wait until... Wow, the bakery is huge. I just want to wait until morning because the game is so dark I can't actually see the trees. You have to realize that you guys, I put you on point one brightness, which is basically plus ten what you guys usually have. <laughs> it's a lot. The game is actually darker for me. Hey, Dane! Hello! Oh no, what happened, Eric? Hold on. You worked on a game called Gun for PlayStation. Made Dodge City. The wildest of wild ass western towns. Get you thinking. Uh, why are you timed out? Oh, it's, it's us. Yeah, I can't really fine tune that list and. It's a little bit of protection. No, it's fine. Uh, you can post it again, Eric. Go right ahead. And then just leave out that word. And then Streamlabs won't be mad. <laughs> if you're streaming, you need to choose between protection or no protection. And because the protection is made by an outside source, in this case Streamlabs, 
I can't adjust the list really. So, nor do I want to get people in who just curse themselves blue, of course. Is the farm... No, it's still closed for winter, even though it's April. Interesting. I want to know um, if the people will go back themselves or if I need to go look for them. Because I got a couple of people who are good at farming. How's it going with the church? Good, good. We just need 15 more wood. Now that it's daytime, let us see where we can build. Problem with daytime is I can't see um, where the circle is. Well, very slightly. I can see the movement. The perfect location would probably be here, but we're just going to put it against the road here. There you go. I think they'll just go looking for trees, probably. can't fit another farm there anymore, can I? Oh! So close! Oh, that's an actual shame. Um, in millimeters. Can we cancel this? I don't think we can. Backspace? No. I don't think that's the cancelling is in the game yet, so it's fine. We'll deal with it. I just realized, and I didn't see it before because it's so small. This is plus five. This is plus 15. This is minus 15. I didn't realize that. So, this is minus 3. The houses are plus 5. So, is that area of effect... That, so, this chicken farm, is that making people unhappy that live here? No, they're 100%. Is it making you unhappy? Is it maybe working there is making them unhappy? Yeah, the pigs are gone again. I don't know what happens to them. Every time I come to check to see if they need to, like, to be slaughtered or anything to do with them, they're gone. The chickens are still there. I'm getting a lot of eggs. Oh, a lot of eggs. I think I added them. <laughs> a couple too many chickens. I'm really bummed out that I can't fit the farm here. Because it looks like it should fit, right? I guess we'll build another one over here then. And then we can bake like a bakery and everything over here as well. Okay, let them build that first. Hi, are you? Nope, still close for winter. like need to go fishing in the night it's such weird hours there you go oh, nighttime again 
I think night uh, needs to be a little bit shorter. Also because it's too dark. Very dark. Is there a goal to survive at this point? Maybe in the full game there will be like an end goal? I don't know. There's not really a bonus for happiness either. And it's not really clear to me yet. Does it make them unhappy to work here? Yeah, see, so the, he is not very happy, but the, so he's working in an unhappy place, in an um, unhappy home. Oh, I think we're gonna reach. Uh, uh oh. Uh, where should we put you? Oh, can I fit you here? Not like that. Maybe like so. There we go. Another shelter. This one's full. And they're literally going at it like bunnies. And I'm gonna stop building houses for just a moment. Lucy Lily needs more sleep. Lucy Lily doesn't have a home. Yeah. It's uh we're working on it, Lucy. I'll prioritize this before people die out in the cold here. Bye, Auntie. Oh, knights and merchants. I th I think I have I think I had that one on CD-ROM, like in the time that I still played. Well, I do still play Linkin Park, but it's like the old CDs from Linkin Park. When you Lucy's dead. Age 21. Oh no, Josephine is dead too. Kirby has died. Yeah, I'd, sorry. I didn't realize they would die immediately <laughs> if I didn't have a home for them. Makes sense though. I wish I had a little bit more overview of how many people I have. How many are homeless, things like that. Oh yeah, we... <laughs> let me, uh, hold on, let me slow down a little, let me check up on the... Okay, hold up, because that's not what I want. So what happened here is that the workers in, in the winter left. And now two new kids took over. So what happened to my farmers? Like, yeah, you're stupid. Okay, that's annoying. Why is your filter off? Where, where are you? Oh, he's because he's unemployed. Why are you unemployed? Because there's. Oh, are they the kids of stone miners? So the working system is odd. Okay, so I have two little children in here working, but I got work. Um, I got people who have a very high skill in bone cutting. Okay, they immediately come back despite it being paused. So can I do this and then? You're not you. Where were they? Look, she has a very high skill in carpeting, and you're un unemployed. Why? Oh, she is working the sawmill. But the filter is off. Hmm. 
The work system, it, it's a... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it! <laughs> now I lost him. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I think that's him. Nope, I can't put him back. Oh, well, never mind then. There needs to be a way to have them go into the position where they have the most experience. Otherwise, what's the use in giving them experience, right? Oh yeah, run with those eggs. <laughs> uh, not really, Eric, but in that time, I don't think there was a whole lot. And there was a reason that a lot of them moved west later on and went searching for gold. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot to get here. Other than good farming land. Yep, everyone's dying from exhaustion. I have a bench though, why is no one sleeping on my bench? Oh god, they're all gonna die. Oh yeah, the woodcutter wasn't done yet. Why aren't you getting more wood? What's the problem? Is it because there's not enough trees nearby? Yeah, everyone's dying. It's fine. They'll make new kids. Apparently, that's how this game works. I wish you could add more workers to... The woodcutter. I should have built a woodcutter earlier, but I didn't know that because this is my first time playing. <laughs> build a university? No. <laughs> I think the full game is gonna add a lot more. This is a good view of how the game works and... Oh, wow. Wait, can I... S oh, I can, I, can, I can slaughter some of them. Hold on. I don't know why my pigs keep dying though, but because there's more than enough food. Okay, so shelter is almost done. We need one more wood. That's the only thing we have a shortage of right now, normal wood. We also don't have a lot of corn. And I don't like that I need to harvest manually. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove you guys. And we're going to add more corn. And maybe some more tobacco for money. I don't think we need more barley. We're good on potatoes. Yeah. There's one more corn to harvest, peeps. Alright, so... Oh, wow, we had... They're having kids too quickly. I can't keep up. And I can't stop them either. So people will just die, basically. I think... I think they're done having kids. I think they're just too old. As are they. That means you can have two more and they can have two more. But all those kids are still going to be moving out. Hey! 
Well, I no, I can grow corn. You know what would be a great addition to this game? That when you arrive here, you only have European crops. And that the natives actually have to, you have to make friends to them before they teach you how to grow native crops or care for native animals. Though the Americans don't really have tameable animals. Just like Africa. Okay, well we have a lot of people, just not a whole lot of homes. Um, the, the shelter doesn't make them happy, but at least they have somewhere to stay. So let us build another one. No, wait, first the woodcutter. Because we need it for more wood. I think I'm actually going to build another one because that's our stopping gap at this moment. That's not the right word. I meant uh, our block. Can't see where the trees are. Hold on. Um, I think the problem here is, is that look at the trees are really far away. Mm. Okay, so that one's not really close by the Yeah, it's close enough. Okay. Let's build those first. Really? It's already... Yeah, it's already full. Let's build another. <laughs> I can put it in the suggestions in their Discord. It would add more layers to the game that you actually need to make friends oh the church still isn't done no we're, we're short on wood okay so let's set priority to max wait first this one and then this one so that one goes first so even with this extra shelter we're still short on the space Okay, so they are eating bread, but very little. Not going quickly. I... I don't like the fact that I need to determine myself when they need to go harvest, because if you forget, they'll starve. And it's like, your guys are the farmers, you deal with it. <laughs> they can leave that up for me. Come on, please, we need wood. What are you up to? But he, oh, well, to be fair, he's 78. <laughs> I mean, I can't blame him. Okay, here, here's... Yeah, there's wood incoming. Uh, you're not going in here, are you? Wait, are those planks? Hard to see the difference between planks and... I think they're planks, yeah. Okay, so can I pause this? The problem is if I do that, I can't put these people back here. They're just gonna appoint... Oh, you know what we There you go. Production paused. Let's go. We need wood. No, no, no. You can, you can bring it right here, sir. Sir. No, he's going to the warehouse first. <laughs> There's a warehouse right here. Why are you going over there? AI, don't do this to me. Okay, hold on. Speed up. Japanese friends were talking about blue cheese. Yeah, I guess it's... I'd, I don't think they're 
really have a lot of blue cheese in Japan. I'm not sure. I'm not a fan myself, but I never noticed it being mentioned. What are like training dolls outside of the... Oh wait, 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 hold on. Oh, I can't turn it. Um, here's Tilly. Okay, we need to go find... Slow down. Here's Isaac. They, they died together. Now we need to go find all the headstones of the dead people, apparently. <laughs> it's a nice little mini game. It reminds me... Oh, there they are. It reminds me of finding people in Anno. The fact that I can move them is just hilarious. I can't turn them, however, I don't think. No. Well, shout if you see a headstone. <laughs> I don't know where everyone died. I didn't realize it would create headstones. <laughs> Stone? Oh, yes, it is. The whole family Tilly has died there. Alright, for the rest, we'll just have to see if we can spot them in the future. Oh, there they are. They need a, a graveyard or something. Uh, Yeah, just a. They just spawn a stone where they die. It's an interesting choice, I guess. Oh, come on. Still waiting on the wood. To build the other woodcutters so we can actually start building some other items. I want to at least get the... The bakery up and running and then we can build the... Expedition house and see what that does. But yeah, we have a living space issue because they suddenly... I built some houses and they suddenly had like 20 babies. And they grew up in 5 minutes. So, yeah. <laughs> Kitties probably grow up a little bit too fast in this game, maybe. Uh, yeah, because uh, you're correct. This is very much a religious group they literally fled the country because of their religion so they should have a cemetery because that was important to them oh found one well um, i'll make my own cemetery with blackjack oh they oh no that's <laughs> blackjack and hookers oh my god they're out they're a little bit uh, i you know what, since we're waiting anyway, hold on. It's just that I can't turn them, which is a shame. There you go. A neat little graveyard. <laughs> oh no, those are those are I keep thinking these are gravestones, but they're not. 
Are you done yet? No, I need to buy more wood. So, the thing is, the children grow up in like one month. But to get a piece of wood, it, it takes a year to get this built. It's still not harvested. Oh, we need to sell... Uh, hold on. Uh, where's my... There we go. Um... Oh, we also have a lot of leather. Can I not... No, I can't write. I actually need to click 120 times. Since I can't do anything with the leather at the moment, I'll just sell it. In the future, we'll be able to make clothing with it, no doubt. Click, 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 click. Sell all button would be awesome. Okay, now the tobacco. Mm, I could sell some of the wheat. Since it's full. Maybe that's also the problem with the harvest? I don't know. We're rich! <laughs> rich. Now at the moment they're just sleeping. So. Oh wow, they have a lot of uh, wheat ready there. Good morning. It is September. Now you have to realize I built this wheat field or farm. It's just a farm. Um, in April. It's still not built. I built this one in winter. It's also still not built. Yeah, or sell 10. That's usually the easiest way to do it. Like sell 1, sell 10, sell 100. Oh, come on, one more. One more. Oh, they're dying again. Hey, there we go. The work times are just so weird to me. Like, why would they work till 10 in the evening? Actually, I don't think that... Well, they get tired, so let's keep it at 10. That's fine. Alright, now the other one. Uh, where did I put you? Over here. Then we can do this farm, and then we can set up the windmill and the bakery. I stopped the plank cutting, so it should be going a little bit faster now. Oh, it's night already. Jeez. I guess I could make them work 24 hours, but it seems a bit... Uh... Then because they have LED lights. No, I don't get it, because if you build it, they work from like 12 to 10 in the evening. It's like they would get up at 5 in the morning and work until nightfall, I guess. Um, not, not, well, maybe the fishers. I left the fishermen to nightfall because fishing at night, I think a lot of cultures do that. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, they're cutting wood now too, at least if they would. If it was daytime. It's max speed, so let's go. Oh, it's already close for winter, no. In October? Excuse me. <laughs> Surely they would still be harvesting in, in October. Winter doesn't start until maybe half November at, at earliest. Actually, November would still count as fall. Yeah, September, October, November is fall, because 
June, July, and August is summer. And then December, January, and February is winter. April, March, and May is spring. So to close, so they they basically said, well, October uh, uh, up until uh, including April is. I can't even plant yet. Okay. Need more food. Well, good luck. Or oh, maybe we need another inn with different times. Like we have one inn for evening and one inn for morning. I don't think I can make her work the entire day. Well, I could. I can try. <laughs> What's what's wrong with your health then? You have a home, so what's the problem? Did you not get food? No, hunger is 86. What's happening? We have food. I need more food. All right, let's try to build. Hold on, hold on. Let's try to build another. A little bit confused why they're suddenly all starving, but um, I guess we'll build like a place at the other side of town. They're all, they're all starving. Why? Yeah, the inn is closed. <laughs> Everybody's gonna die. <laughs> Good night, Rai. He's 93. Oh, maybe they're all very old. Oh, they are. No. No, he's just complaining about food. Why are you... Well, that would explain it, yes. Again with the work... weird work times. Oh, there you go. Are they all gonna be dropping dead soon? Because they're like a hundred years old. That would make sense. Uh, it's a bit dark to place them right now, but... Well, better hurry up with building then if you want food! Scrolling, they're all just screaming at me. There's something wrong with my health. There's something wrong with my health. There's something wrong with my health. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. There's something. <laughs> it's hilarious because <laughs> I can't do anything about it because there is food, but the inn is closed. They all. It's it's half past three in the morning. They should all be sleeping, not whining at me that they're hungry. Like, you should have come in for food. Oh look, he's stealing some fish over there. No, they actually have just... Uh... I think the first sellers are just gonna die now. I mean... Didn't... The aging is not uh, the same as the time passed, so... It, two years have passed, but for them, 70 years have passed. It's really weird. All these old people want to microwave a late night hot pocket. Absolutely. Uh, 
I need more sleep. Yeah, I guess there's not enough room to, to live. Now you live right here. What are you complaining about? Yeah, no, the houses are full. But I'm thinking we're going to have some people just to go pretty soon from old age. I mean, it's cold. Why don't you just freeze like a, a normal person? Oh, there's one. Oh, there's three. Big search for all the... All the st headstones across the map. I would, at this point I'm just sitting here like, just die already, so you can stop complaining at me. Because <laughs> there's nothing I can do for you, you're just old. Yeah, what did you do during the prologue? Well, I hunted down like a hundred headstones of my dead pilgrims. And then I placed them all neatly behind the church. What did you do? I think you can't remove the trees and rocks from the roads. Okay, it's very hard to see in the dark. Okay, there we go. So, how about we may, we give you like the morning shift? So, Yeah, that seems reasonable. So let's see if they stop starving now that there's pretty much always food available. Uh, let me see, because this is 5 a.m. So there's, there's six hours of no food available, just in the night when they're sleeping. I need more sleep. There's something wrong with my health. Yeah, you're, you're 99. Just stop yelling at me. <laughs> Get the story of a person. Yeah, they would have to make up a lot of stories, though. I just wish I could do something to help them. Like, <laughs> it's just so sad. Alright, so now that we have another place for food, let's actually start... Oh, we're out of bread now. That wasn't the issue when they started yelling at me, but that's probably going to be an issue now. Unfortunately, we don't... Um, are you kidding me? It doesn't fit. That... Okay, that's just my opinion, but that should fit. Like... This just, this just, um, how's, where's the bakery? Oh, 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 oh boy. Big boy. Also doesn't fit. Me, 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 me. I think it's uh, the spokes that are just out. We can go over there. Where should we put the bakery? Because if I do it here, it blocks like the whole windmill, and that's not fun. Right across from the inn. 
And here's the sh uh, the seller for the food. Okay, so this should go a bit faster now that I've saved up some some wood. How are the chickens doing? Wait, did all the chickens die? Like I said, sometimes I'm really confused why the animals just disappear. Let's see, so we still have some wheat, so we should be able to make some flour. And then we should be able to make some bread. Take priority to this one first. There we go. Bread incoming. Chickens had a good time. They're all dead. They're not having a good time. Well, they have a good time in, in the inn, basically, but that gives them happiness. But there's not really a place for them to... Uh, a town hall would be a good addition. Like a place for them to, to come at night and play music or something. Because the inn's really just for food. Yeah, we need some happiness buildings. Because I can't give them all homes, because they breed like buddies, and like you can see, it's it's an issue. Because I have a lot of homeless people that are yelling at me. But if I build more houses, they're just gonna make more babies. <laughs> Get my meaning. Uh, I guess I could uh, build one more big shelter. All right, there's the mill. Again, with the weird work times. Oh, well, we have uh, hunters. We have those. I, I just... I guess I could put those on early time too. It's a little bit earlier than this. There you go. And we can make an expedition uh, building. Either they need to make daytime longer or they need to give me an option to skip the night. Because, yeah. Alright, we have a lot of building materials, so this should be coming in pretty soon. Oh, they're building this one now. No, 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 no. Build this one first. Sleep in the ice. It's not like I can make clothes for you guys. We're still good in the planks, because I turned that off, so I need to keep an eye on that. Bones good. I'll just buy some pigs and see what happens. I'm not entirely sure why they keep dying. <laughs> or just disappearing, or whatever. Well, look what I found. Move. Come on. No little headstone. Right there. Well, it's one way to keep you busy, right? Looking for all the headstones of the dead people. one yeah what did you do this winter well <laughs> I looked for deaf people lots of them but since I don't know who they were I don't know if they died of old age or another reason oh yeah that's one too 
I mean, it's not like things are going bad. We're having a lot. We have a lot of people. Just oh, the, the, apparently some people died. Oh, we got a bakery. Yeah, let's let's not do that. We not have people to work there. I'm looking for the little ones because they don't have a lot of experiences in other work, meaning I'm not wasting their skills. There we go. You ladies can go uh, take me bread. Oh wait, I can set a working filter. Hold on, I'm. I see. So I can tell them not to work there unless they have a certain experience in, in milling, for example. However, if the miller were to die, and he didn't have children or there's no one else to take over it's actually a, pro a problem yeah see what happens people disappear i don't i guess later on when all the kids are born with a specific skill you can have more choice in labors I can put these on my pen. I wonder they at least have some skill. All right, the the great emergency of uh, 2020, sorry, 1622 has been passed. The, I don't think pretzels were invented. Well, actually, I don't know. Were they invented in Germany this time? And thanks for 40 likes, everyone. I'm having a good time with this. I mean, I understand there's not a whole lot of content yet, but it's just a prologue. Oh, that's not a headstone. Sorry. Uh, I like the buildings. They're recognizable as what they are. Like, if, if, when you get to know them, of course. Uh, yeah, I can't see the headstones. Let me just put it next to it. Complete darkness. I need some more lamps. Uh, there is one. That's looking much better. Yeah, Mill can have one too. Okay. The rest will have to wait until it's night time again. There we go. Alright. Bread coming in. Perfect. So what is left? Yeah, just the expedition building then. Now let's build it like right here. That looks good.
Yeah, that's the only thing I haven't built yet. And... Uh... Okay, yeah. So everyone has a home now. Not everyone has a job, I don't think, but... We're just getting too many people too fast at this point. Which can be nice, but it needs a little bit more balance. Hey, Stacy. I, I missed one. I'm sure there's hundreds of uh, of them around here. Also, it reminds me. No, that's the practice training dummy. Oh, there's one. Oh, already nighttime again. I know I'm on super speed, but nighttime is so long. Uh, are we short on planks? No, I don't think so. But I can turn like one spot on. I think there should be at least someone with some plank skills. <laughs> Planking skills. Yeah, you can't search for skills. Okay. Okay, so the second inn solves the hunger problem. So one inn is taking care of basically breakfast and the other inn is taking care of dinner. And there's a bit of overlap with lunchtime. I, don't, I do think they only come in like once a day though. For food. Oh, there we go. Okay, so farming. Okay. Really, we don't have anyone with farming experience? Wow. What about strength? Oh well. Um, that's fine, so we're gonna plant wheat here for the bread. That should probably do it. The mill's not doing anything right now because they used up all the grain, so that's okay. How's it going with our expedition? <laughs> if you turn up the speed, they all go like around like a helicopter. <laughs> Bit of balancing, I think. How are the animals doing? Oh, they're all dead again. Yeah, they could. Uh... The first time I added chickens, they had like a lot of babies, and then they were like 20 chickens, and then like 15 minutes later, they were all gone. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna be staring at the chickens now. Right? There's no one. Um, enables to send expedition. All right. So we have like a map. There we go. Oh, there we go. So... Where are we then? On the map. Are we, are we around here? It says Massachusetts here, but... The Wampanoags call this place Matakiset. The place of many fish. In the late 1620s, the land along the north shore 
North of Plymouth was allotted for farming. People farmed there during warmer months, returned to Plymouth for the winter. Gradually, colonists started to build their homes there in greater numbers. In 1637, the town was incorporated under the name Duxbury. Uh, sh sure, we'll go there. So they're bringing in... We don't have a lot of meat, do we? I guess I'll buy some piglets. And some more chickens, just in case. But it's night time again, so... Hold on, that's my morning in. Used the night in. But there's no one coming. Oh, there they are. They're all hungry. They're hangry. They're coming. Well, considering how much they complain about their health, despite being like 95, <clears throat> I mean, I would complain about my health if it was 95, to be fair, but I don't need to have the message like 20 times, game. I guess I would want a warning if someone was like starving or, you know, homeless. But if it's old age and I can't do anything about it, you don't need to tell me that you're sick. It's not, not like I can add a doctor to the game. I'm just collecting all the headstones. Wait, that one is on top of the other one? Yeah, it is, actually. Hold on. So is that one actually. That's better. Alright. So we're waiting on some more meat. Is there a way to get more meat other than pigs? Okay, I, I can't slaughter them yet. About some chicken. I think that counts as meat. Somewhere. I want to know what happens with these expeditions. That's pretty much the last thing we can do in this prologue. Oh, the house is full again. Yeah. Well, uh, tough luck. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, get them to set off in the morning. Oh yeah, I built an extra inn because they were starving and this person can only work so many hours per day. I wish I could like build one and then set up like working times per person, but this is fine. I just build a second one. I mean, there's too many people for one in anyway, so these take care of the morning crowd and this one takes care of the evening crowd. No other way around, if I'm mistaken. 
Yeah, this one was the evening crowd, but it also got the morning crowd. That was weird. Hold on. Okay, are we ready? Nope. Don't have any meat. I just said slaughter one chicken. Got me. That's the problem then. I said slaughter one and they just slaughtered them all. My piglets are stuck inside. Oh, look another headstone. We have a meat problem here uh, currently. How are we gonna solve that? Let's see. Because the, the pigsty is not doing it. Oh, here we go. Homestead founded. You have successfully founded Duxbury. Plymouth now benefits from the taxes and material tributes collected there. So Duxbury was an area where they uh, mostly farmed. And then they started living there. So now it's ours, I'm guessing? Or... This is not us, is it? No, we're, we're at Plymouth. I'm not entirely sure where we're actually on the map. Like here? Maybe? I wish we were on the map. Like, um, In order to strike a bargain, a merchant must know how to keep his customers happy. Aquaban. Okay, uh, let's start there. Well, we have to meet. Guys, where, where... Yeah, okay, you're about... Oh, you're... They're all above 90 again. <laughs> Alright, we need more meat, clearly. Let's build another hunter, because I'm not sure what I can do with, with the piggies. I don't know, buy more pigs. At least the hunter doesn't cost any money. Let me see. Um, here's one. Where's the stellar? Oh, here. Oh, can I, can I fit you here? Or oh, I think I tried that before, didn't I? They added some decorations to the side, which is nice. But it makes it impossible to... Place it. In an area where I think it should fit, basically. <laughs> Wait. I can't fit it anywhere. And you only have one hunter. Oh no, it was just because it had one. Hold on, let me try this then. Oh, that does work. Okay, there we go. Just a little bug. You don't have to pack it so tight, but every building wants to be close to the warehouse. I have one here, and I have one here, and I wanted to build it a little bit further away from this one. Also, here's the food cellar. I guess I could build more warehouses and food cellars. But keep in mind that in the full game you have to add a wall, a palisade around it. I'll just keep one carpenter there so we don't run out of wood again. Um, so if you have to build that wall around it, you want it packed in quite close. Maybe we should add some more benches for people. Mm, 
the hitboxes are a bit odd, aren't they? Because you would think that you could build a bench here. You can't. Nope. Build one here. Though. No, on only so. There you go. People can rest on them. I wonder if that would help. I'm gonna try it. Hmm. Yeah, the manual harvesting is uh, annoying, since, especially since I don't want to get that one. They should just plant and harvest as time goes by, because... <clears throat> I mean, you don't think actual farmers will wait for the boss to come by to tell them when they can harvest. I mean, unless they're serfs, but they're not. They are, they are the farmers. Have an entire continent of space and then just putting it in a, in a small city. Yeah, fair, but I didn't pack it too close, though. It's just in these games, distance to walk is actually important. So it costs them a lot of time to walk anywhere. bit more light here yeah. yeah ship can also have a little bit of light there we go no that's true the farm should be outside the city yeah it was just that you start out with the warehouse and the food cellar and I started to build the wood industry up here. So then the farm went that away, but I had to add more, so... Oh, let me speed up a little bit. How are we doing on our... No, it still needs meat. I can start with some pigs, but we'll need to... Wait for people to wake up again. Because guess what? It's night time again. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is more of a city builder than a rural colony. Because you would build the houses and such inside the palisade, but the farms themselves and probably like a woodcutter's hut would be outside of the fencing but in this game that's not practical because they all want to be close to the warehouse so i guess you could build a warehouse with just your wood your wood stuff outside of the city that's possible yes and then have a warehouse close to your housing but then keep in mind that people would have to walk a long way to build anything because the wood still would need to come into the city. <clears throat> We're actually not receiving that much wheat from this field. Let me uh, change something here. There you go. Trade route established. You can now we can now trade with the Akawan band of the Wapanoak tribe. All right, so we have trade enabled. But this is two of three. But this one needs wood and stone. I have a lot of that. Uh, is it still the same story? Yes. So 
Actually doing this sooner, building the expedition sooner is better. I put low on planks, but let's start this one. I want to see what we can trade with him. Uh, where was the trade again? Hmm. So how do you trade with them? I actually expected like an extra thing here in the trade screen. Well, it says one of three. Maybe you need three of three. Everyone dying again. Yep, they're all above 90 again. Are we having kids incoming? No. Well, I guess we'll need to wait for these peeps. Hold on. Ladies. Um, I mean, I don't think this is allowed in this time for you ladies to live together, but... Oh, here are the gents. Okay, can we just kick them out? Oh, I don't think there's actual room to kick them out. Nope. So the houses are filled with very old people. So what we need is like an old folk home. <laughs> so they move out and young people can go live in the new houses. Right, everything's been brought. Oh yeah, there we go. Expedition in progress. We traded raw materials for high-priced furs. Oh, so we got leather in. All right. So what if we do three? We send them gold and meat again. I don't have that much meat, guys. Let's carry this one first. Uh, wood. Wooden stones to build up there. Okay. Now that should come in in no time. Unless, of course, it's night time. Oh, no, there they go. One more stone. Maybe someday. Why do they want gold? Nobody knows. Also, the fact that the money is called gold when it, I doubt they used gold coins back then with the nickel pin. We're at full speed, we'll just need to wait till morning when they start working again. And the pigs are gone again. I really don't know if, it, if I get anything for those pigs or if they just disappear. Uh, well, we can sell some of the letters since I can't actually use them. Yet. Buy more piggies. Making a statue. <laughs> Duxbury grows. You have successfully transformed the collection of houses into a self-sufficient village. Limit now benefits from the taxes and materials for collecting them. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to get from them, but we'll see. So, what do we have left? 
Um, wait, why would we do another expedition there? What would that give us? So we sent wood and stones. What would they give us? They don't... They didn't say anything. I don't... You also need to work harder, Mr. Miller. Well, we have a lot of bread, so that's good. We need more meat, though. Alright, so if we do, like, you from 6 in the morning... Um. Yeah, we just need more meat. How about we just build another hunter? We have so many people, we can easily do that. Sorry, you were from 8 to 4. I'll just give them different times with a little bit of overlap and we'll see if we can get some meat in. I think it's difficult to, in a game, to balance reality with gameplay. Because it still needs to be enjoyable gameplay. In this case, they, uh, since farming was so important, having like such a small farm field that when you would actually have like like this as a farm, not not even place like still here and that might be one field and the houses would usually be quite close you know for protection I see what you mean though No, still waiting for the meat. Oh, uh, that's true, Navi. Uh, but you know, there, there's also Wikipedia for in game. You can get pretty far with that. Or you know, some some, some videos on YouTube. Yeah, a port would be, uh, but we just have one ship there. But then I guess since there's not, of course they had one ship and then they took off. There's not really a port needed because there's not really anyone coming. It makes sense. They can hire you. Yeah, if they have money for it, I think. Sometimes you draw conclusions you're not really sure they're true, but. The developer of the game is... Oh, what's his name? Hold on. I'm gonna... I'm gonna cheat and check the team here. Uh, Road Forward... Ro Rembrandt Soft. I, re I remember it's something be being between Rembrandt and Rock 4. No, it's Rembrandt Soft. Um, that is a company, but it's also the person who talked to me in in the Discord. It could very well be a, a one dev game, yes. Some people announce that and some people don't. Okay, there we go. No, all the pigs and chickens are gone again. I'm not 
<clears throat> I'm not getting quite getting that because once you have pigs, you would breed them and then have a constant flow of meat, especially in a town like this. It's also way too small. The pig sty is smaller than the chicken coop. Okay, so let me see. You work from. So. Uh, 12? Like 7? No, that's 10. Am I... Am I not calculating this right? Hold on. I'm, I'm mathing wrong somewhere and I don't know why. Okay, let me see. Because if you do eight hours each, there would be no overlap. So I give them all two hours more, there should be one hour overlap. Why is that not correct? I guess this is fine. Let them work eight hours, it's all good. Oh no, actually we need the meat. We really need the meat. We're all out. Everyone works 10 hours a day here. You know, it would be nice more oversight in their happiness. I think I did 11 hours actually in the other one. Yeah. Um, that should be one. Come on. There we go. Okay, now it's sorted. Nope, still waiting on meat. Guess at this point, I can just buy a whole bunch of pigs and chickens and see if we can get some meat in there. There's no work, no one working here. Are we low on workers? Really? Um, do we have anyone available? I guess we lost a lot of the old guard. We don't need so many laborers. So we can pick some of those. What if anyone with not such a high skill? Well, I guess you then. You can go hunt. There we go. Okay, see, there, there's the problem then. So we lost a lot of people. A lot of old people. And where did we go? <laughs> Don't need so many people there. Oh, the fishery closes for winter. Well, that explains that. Um, okay, but those are all good. 
Not that it's useful in the winter because we don't have any wheat. Eh. They're all high level laborers. Do you want to. Hold on. You're. Oh, hunt. Oh, wait. Are you now. Now they're full. Okay, never mind. The fact that I can't undo it. Where did I pick him from? From here? I can't let him go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'd write, I said it like they, they look like helicopters when time speeds up. When they, um, see here, here, when they have wood in their hands, they just walk around like a damn helicopter. All right, now that I got them actually hunting, I'm hoping we can get some meat in for the expedition. All the tillies are dead. <laughs> but there's a couple. <laughs> yeah, how many colonists did you lose? Well, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Their headstones were everywhere. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Another Tilly. I, why do I have the feeling there's a lot of inbreeding in my city? <laughs> They're all called Tilly. <laughs> I'm not wrong though. Alright, I don't see any more headstones now. No, that's not one. Any outs in the wilderness because they were cutting wood or something? No, that's a bush. They clear cut really quickly, don't they? <laughs> okay, so the everyone's dying basically. Ninety three, ninety seven, ninety four, ninety seven, ninety three. Yeah, come on guys, if it's old age, I don't need to know. There's no way for me to sort out if someone's actually sick or hungry or just, you know, old. Very sad. You took, uh, uh, your dad took you out deep sea night fishing in the winter. Yeah, that does, yeah. That would be scary to me as now, even especially if I was eight. Can we? No, I can't slaughter a pig yet. Are they all dead yet? Again? Should I not get them in winter? Is that it? Or are they just tripping on me? What's the housing doing? Okay, so some of the old folks died, some new people moved in and they had kids. <clears throat> but they aged so fast. And I'm still, even though I have nine hunters going around the clock I'm still not getting any meat 
that they just hunted all dead. I don't know. <clears throat> a school. Yeah, that would be a good addition. I like him banished. But it could very well be that it will be added later. An achievement for the amount of headstones you collect. Yes, that would be a good one. Oh, there's one. How am I doing, actually? Uh, six. 36, 38. I've found 38 headstones so far. Now, I probably lost more people than that, but it could be hidden in buildings and such. I'm not sure. Sorry, it's nighttime. Let me speed up time. Could all the old people just you know, drop dead without complaining to me. That would be great. Oh, yeah, see? Jack, listen to me. There you go, Jack. Have a nice little spot over there. Another Tilly. That's so many Tillies. Oh, look, there's two. And another Tilly. And Lucy Tilly. Alright, that's 42. I'm just trying to spend the time at night by doing something. Because I can't do a whole lot. Especially in winter when half the buildings are closed. You guys aren't closed for winter or something. No. One of you should be working around now. Yeah, you. One meat. Well, that's not enough. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, surely one deer would give you like, I don't know, 20 meat or something? I want to get that last uh, expedition, but I'm waiting for three meat. They're having big trouble with it. Can we slaughter some pigs? No. Well, the chickens are all stuck there. Do you see that? Well, let me see. What happens if I say slaughter one? Okay, we get two meat out of there. Okay, so what if we just slaughter them all? Oh, it's night time again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Event lock and then some, uh, yeah. Did they say they're like sick? Yeah, health is three. Happiness is zero. It's ninety-nine. She, sorry, she. It wouldn't be realistic if all the old folks didn't tell you about their arthritis. No, that's fair. That's true. <laughs> I, well, a hundred is uh, a bit more than I expect in these days. <laughs> it's a cough because of dementia. Oh my goodness. Uh. And before anyone gets mad, my grandparents would have laughed at that. Alright, so... Um, oh, I think she already died. Okay. Oh yeah, look. There she is, I think.
Yep, we had another wave of... Uh, okay, can we... Is it going now? Can we, can we put this... We have... We have the meat. Put it in there. Oh, for goodness sake. Can we just... The cellar is right there. There's meat in there. Bring it. Yes! Finally. Okay, so whenever we send trade... Oh, wait. Two of three. Oh yeah, it's three of three. Alright, so this must be three of three then. Let's see what happens. You can only do one at a time. I realized I should have done this one first because we finally have some meat. But I can always just bother for more chickens, I guess. Yeah. I have a whole bunch of chickens. They're all stuck under the stairs. <laughs> hey, Da Vinci! Who are you calling? Um, are you even older than I am, Da Vinci? I mean, let's be honest here. I think Boo, Boo and Pandy are the only ones who are older than I am. Well, no, no, you could actually be older. Ha, got him. <laughs> Give the old, old people guns. Well, now you're just talking about that, uh, that silly game uh, called Just Die Already. <laughs> Where you're just going around chopping people up and dying yourself. And very funny. Oh, there's one. Yeah, it's hard to search at night. It's very dark. But I found one. Josephine Rogers. Hey, good morning. I thought I saw another one over here. Nope. Okay. One more stone. There it is. And here they go. You've successfully transformed the village into a thriving town. Yeah, we, we did that already. Okay, so it's... It's this is still in progress. Break it. Hmm. It says it's still running, but I already got the ending speech. Maybe they need to return. It's like like a sort of like kind of cool down. Hey, Floristic. You're fifty. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Oh, Da Vinci's older than Pandy. Okay, then you're older than me, yes. Oh, that sucks, Eric. I'm glad you were able to stop it. <laughs> Halfway. That's a, that's a very positive way of thinking, CJ. Nice. Okay, I drink. I think I broke the the expeditions, but I think you can get the point of it. I like it. I like that it's a it's a good start. There's a couple of things I would uh, that could be improved, but you know this is just a prologue, so you never know what the dev is already doing. Like the the manual harvest, because if you forget, if you do some other stuff. You don't have food. I don't like that. <laughs> the pigs and chickens don't make any sense to me. Also, they're stuck on the ladder again. It just... It's hard to see, but you can see them tripping all of them over there. And the pigs just disappear. 
maybe you need to slaughter them in time but that's quick because they just disappear really quickly also this farm is giving me very little wheat it but and what it gives is pro processed in no time and then turned into bread in no time so these two buildings are standing still very for a very long time each year. Why are you guys not harvesting? Also, I don't like that the farmers go do something else in the winter and then someone else is hired in spring. I guess you could do like this, but I don't know if there's people available with farmer experience. I guess not. So where did those people who worked last year go? Did they all die? It could very well be possible because the the people age a lot faster than the actual game time runs. Which I don't mind so much because it's a balancing thing. Otherwise you would have to wait a long time for more people. I just think it's a little bit too fast. But I like it. I like the idea. I want more real interactions and not just a map with a bar here. That's, I want an actual storyline. Where we meet Native Americans, where we can choose to make friends with them or make enemies out of them. Things like that. But I have no idea what they're planning in the future. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe the farmers will call Tilly. Yeah, all the Tillies are dying. They're all gone. <laughs> They're avocado green decors. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I like the game too. It's uh... So, yeah, there, he, he's working on it. A lot of work on it. And obviously the prologue doesn't have everything. Oh, I forgot to set the timer for the church. So, let me think. The church needs to be... Oh, I guess you do like a morning church and an evening church. You'll have to eventually, actually, to make people happier. <coughs> let me just... How happy are they? Can I see that? Uh, we have a lot of people who are, aren't quite happy. They're all in the 60, 40, 38. Josephine is... Oh yeah, but as their health drop, they become unhappier, I think. He's 99 as well. Let me see. Can we see their age? Yeah, here. Oh, yeah. That's. So this whole group here is above 90. 80. And then you get a whole bunch of 70. A lot of old people. To be honest, that's not really realistic, is it? <laughs> I think I think it can get better as well. Some some things. Uh, the, uh, the yeah the the manual moving of the headstones is funny, but obviously not practical for a game such as this. Oh, we found a lot of them at least. But peeps, this is uh, I've I've seen everything in the prologue. Uh, it took me a lot longer than I actually expected, so that's good. I like it. I like these kinds of city builders I would love to see one where it's actually not a city builder but like a rural colony builder I I can see that well, how that would be more realistic but especially in the full game if you have to build a whole wall around it yeah that's you're gonna have to be uh, small have to build small 
Otherwise you get like uh, Dawn of Man kind of problems where your wall's too big. <laughs> Alright lovely people, I'm gonna end it here. I uh, wish you a lovely remaining your weekend. I'll most likely be back tomorrow. A tombstone carrier's a job. Now there you go, that's a good one. Thank you all very much for the 45 likes. As always, I'll be on the Discord for a bit longer. Let me link that for you, for those of you who want to come and look at the new fridge Freya. It's not Freya from the fridge. No, 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 we don't, we don't do such simple things on our Discord. I'm actually running out of food. Oh well, it's okay. I'm gonna... Probably all that for my way out of here because oh no, there's a cross here. I'll try that one when we're done. <laughs> all right, lovelies. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time and have a good evening. Goodbye, everyone. Uh, yeah, the settings were under the cross. Found it. I didn't want to risk it because I couldn't save. But there you go, there they are.